step forward, please. Lee Franson is suing her former friend, Erica Gebhardt, for an unpaid loan to fix up her home. Miss Franson, the defendant was a friend of yours who, according to your complaint, was going through some difficult times. She acknowledges that, and you claim to have made a loan to her in the amount of $2,000. Miss Gebhardt says that there was never any discussion of paying you back the money. Tell me the circumstances surrounding the loan. Well, her husband had just gotten a new job and they were going to have to move a few hours away and her house needed some work on it before they'd be able to rent it out so she came over to my house this was the new neighbors well, no we lived about half an hour away from each other but we visited each other pretty often because we were good friends um she came over to my house she told me all about how you know they were going to have to rent out their house in charlotte and so she really needed to fix up her house in order to get it ready to rent and they didn't have the funds to do that at that time, but that her husband was going to be getting a signing bonus for starting his new job. So, you know, she was telling me all about how they're going to have all these bills, they're going to have a mortgage to pay, they're going to have rent in the new place to pay. And so she asked, well, she didn't ask. She said that she was really stressed out about the money. And I said, would you like to borrow some money? And she said, that would be great. And I said, well, how much do you need? And she said, $2,000. And I said, okay, well, I can loan you $2,000 and then you can pay me back when your husband gets his signing bonus. And she said, that would be great. Hey, Ms. Gephardt, I'm listening. Well, she's telling the truth that I went to her house, but beyond that, it did not happen anything like that. Well, tell me how it happened. I went to her house. She was a good friend of mine. I was telling her about our move. And she said, let me help you out. Let me give you some money. And I said, I can't pay you back. She said, no problem. Don't worry about it. Miss Gephardt, let me ask you a question. You've been friends with Miss Franson for how long? Uh, two years. How did you meet her? I attended a class that she taught. What kind of class? Childbirth. How many children do you have? I have five children. How old are they? My twins are eight. I have a six-year-old, a four-year-old, and a nine-month-old. Do you work? I have five children. They're my work. <laughs> How many children does she have? Two. How old are they? Eight and six. And she works? Yes, she works. You see, she has children and she works. She only has two children. She has as many children as she can afford to take care of. I also have a dog. Well, that's your problem. You know, you can have as many children as you like as long as you're able to take care of them. When you have to rely on other people to take care of your children, then it becomes more of a problem. And it doesn't sound to me as if Miss Franson, who has two children of her own, who teaches classes, because that's the way you say you met her, is floating in dough. She is floating in dough. Oh, she's floating in whose dough? Hers and her husband's. Since when did you become a partner in her and her husband's money? That's what's wrong with this country. She and her husband both drive BMWs. And? And they have child care and they and? have... And? They have weekly house cleanings. And? You don't sound like an unintelligent woman, Miss Gephardt. I would assume that if you hadn't made five children, you would be able to have a job and work full time and maybe drive around in a BMW. Instead, what you chose to do is you chose to have a gaggle of children. That was your choice. Your choice to have a lot of kids. She chose to have two, have a job, drive around a BMW. What is that? Your business. It's not my business, but she had the money to give me. She loaned... She didn't love me. She judged me for the plaintiff in the amount of $2,000. That's it. Thank you. Parties are excused. You may step out. She posted on Facebook that her husband had purchased an $800 car alarm. I don't know what happened. That's really what made me really upset.